but yeah, that, that's just how it is. But this will let me clear out his his two monsters, which is really cool. Oops, I actually flipped that face down. I shouldn't have done that. I'm gonna flip some of that. Um, hindsight, I should have left that in defense mode, actually. Just in case of the mirror. Oh, actually, he can't mirror force me anyway, so never mind. It's, it's not a problem. Um, but I was gonna say, in case of a mirror force, I still have my defense, but he can't mirror force me anyway. Um, I know that the third tank is in his hand. I'm not gonna be a dick and tell him to show me to show me his deck. Uh, I, know, I know that there are a lot of people that do that. I've seen that a lot. Um, so this is kind of boring for it now. You know, I misplayed really badly. I was, I was gonna return the honest in my hand. That can end up being a huge hurt on my end. Um, really hoping that he doesn't do anything about it. If he doesn't, I can bring out the Catastrophe next turn. Probably. I'll, I'll probably bring out the Catastrophe. Maybe the Librarian, I'm not really too sure. And I knew that the Hinokage Suji was coming out. That's That really upsets me. I knew that that thing, that thing was going to be coming. And that is going to wreck me. That is going to destroy the monsters in my hand. The Judgment Dragon that I have. And the you know, and the Iron in the Graveyard would have had enough for the Judgment Dragon. I'm really hoping they go to the Bryo so I can take out the Hinokage Suji on my turn. Well, you might realize that with the Honest on the field, I can bring it I can... Yeah, so he does go for the Bryo, which is really good for me. I mean, yeah, I lose my Bryo, but I can still Synchro next turn anyway. And I can down his, his Hino Kagasuchi. Um, so, you know what? Instead of turning off the auto draw, I'm just going to send my entire hand in the graveyard before I go to my turn. I'm not going to make a difference. Um, I lose the Judgment Dragon. Ooh, that's right, his mausoleum on the field, so I can't take out the Hinokage Suji. He's in a really good position right now. Um, what am I going to do here? I am going to... First draw. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to return the Honest to my hand. Um, just so, I, just so he knows he can't go over the wolf. And I'm going to set the Raikou. Because Raikou can take out his mausoleum for me. Which will stop the Hinokage Suji from coming out. And if he does go for the Hinokage Suji again, thinking that that might be the honest, like I'm bluffing, then I can take out the Hinokage Suji that way. Either way, I can t I can stop it for right now. Um, he will pay the 2000 for the Hino. Maybe he thinks I'm bluffing, I don't know. Um, let's see. And he will attack the wolf. So he thought I was bluffing. I will discard the honest and go up to 2100 more than more than his attack so oh hell yeah I'm sorry buddy but that's gonna hurt you a lot you hurt me I hurt you back so um so now I'm waiting to see what he does okay Um, he's gonna lose 2100, and I really could use my other pot of avarice right now. Get back my Bryo and my Judgment Dragon and my Honest. Um, but now he's dead. Oh, we lost a little bit too much. Um,. Okay, so now, so now he's, he's at the, the good amount of life points. Um, I'm probably gonna pop the mausoleum. I am afraid for my right coast. So I'm, I am gonna, gonna sink it. I'm not really sure what for yet, but I am gonna sink it. I am afraid for my right coast because I know that it only has 200 attack, and anything 1500 attack or more will get him the game. Um, I draw the goblin zombie, which is kind of upsetting because I would love to sink with the goblin zombie, but I don't, I can't right now. Um, I'm going to check and see if I play the Armory Arm. If I don't, I can't flip up the Raikou. I do play the Armory Arm, which is cool. Um, so actually, you know what I'm going to do? Is I know that he doesn't have anything that can get over the Wolf with the Armory Arm on it. I'm going to take out the Spirit Reaper. 
In fact, this will almost get me the- actually, I will get the game this turn. The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm getting the game this turn. Um, I will mill three, including the Pot of Avarice I was really hoping to get back. Um, then I will actually Plague. I'm putting the Goblin Zombie back on top of my deck. Special Summon the Plague Spreader Zombie. Now I will synchro for the Bryo. Remove from game. I'm sorry, not for the Bryo, for the Armory Arm rather. Um, the Armory Arm is 1800. So then I will activate the Bulb. Which will allow my Glow Bulb to come back out with its 100 attack points for an exact game. Um, I just mill off for the bulb, I mill off the goblin zombie, and now global bulb will attack for a hundred. <laughs> you hit me with, with Hino Kagasuchi, buddy, I'm sorry. This is only fair. Armor Arm will attack directly, and Wolf will, will finish this off. So, great game, Shinobi Dark. Um, I was really scared there, I really thought you had me. Um, this was back and forth. I'm really surprised that I got back. Um, so, great game. The, the great game there, buddy. Um, I, I would like to leave you guys, the viewers, with a question. Um, I, w I would like to leave you guys with a question to see what you think. What is your favorite archetype? I already told you my favorite type was zombies. My favorite archetype, though, is gladiator beasts. Um, I've always loved gladiator beasts. I've been playing them for a really long time. Um, what I love about them is that, is that there's always some kind of resource that you can go into. I've never really had a bad hand with Gladiator Beasts unless I drew just completely horrible things. I mean, I I play them like crazy. They're actually actually a deck that I'm, I'm playing in, uh, that I'm planning on playing for these videos really soon. Um, so so yeah, so leave a comment about what your favorite gladiator well sorry what, about what your favorite archetype is like I said minus gladiator beast and let me know um and let me know what you think also don't forget to comment or don't forget to rate and subscribe and of course like I said comment with your favorite archetype so see you later YouTube